You guys have heard me say time and time again that speed should never be the goal when you're working on hand exercises. Well, today, speed is the goal. So grab your sticks, grab a practice pad, meet me back here. I'm going to show you a killer single stroke workout that's going to help you develop your speed. So, you guys know I'm always working on my hands. I tell you that all the time. And occasionally I'll come up with some cool stuff. So this little exercise slash workout is a great speed builder. This is a really smart and effective way to build up your speed. Now this exercise is based on the idea that most of us, regular humans, are better sprinters than long distance runners, right? So taking that idea to this little practice pad, we're gonna use that concept to build up our speed. And it's basically the whole idea is just to play 30 second note single strokes in short bursts of speed at a time, right, periodically while slowly increasing the duration until your speed improves. So the idea is this. We're going to be working with tempos and upwards of 170 BPM. So if our tempo is around there, um, the idea is to find out how fast you can play a 30 second note single stroke for four bars at that tempo before you burn yourself out. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So grab a metronome and find out what that is. Maybe start around 170, maybe something like that. And just start it up and see how fast you can play a single. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. How fast can you do that? Once you determine what that is, add five BPM to it, and that's what you're going to do this exercise with. So here's the idea, man. Short sprints, okay? And the idea is to do this. We're going to play 30 second note singles in short sprints. Three different ways or three different times, okay? The first time will be for a full one count. The second time will be for counts one and two. The third time, as you've guessed it, will be for counts one, two, and three. All right, so over a three count, you're going to be playing 30 second note singles. And here's the idea. This is our tempo. We're going to start out just by playing that. Three, four, one, two, three. All right, so just really easy single strokes. This is going to be our pace, sort of our resting stroke. Two, three. And while we're counting, we're going to play short spurts, or short bursts, I should say, of 30 second notes. So the first time, just for count one, two, three, and that looks like this. One, two, three, four, 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 one, like that. All right, the second time counts one and two. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Sprint, rest, sprint, rest, sprint, rest. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the third time, counts one, two, and three. 
So this is when it starts to get a little bit, uh, a little bit tricky. Not really tricky, but you're really going to have to work when you get to three. So we go one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sprint, rest, sprint, rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. And that's the exercise. The idea is to, because we're working in much shorter sprints, you can go a little bit faster. So that's why you find out what your max is and then add five to it. Because you should be able to handle another five on top of what your max is for that short count. So now that you know how this works, let's do this. All right, so today we're gonna to be working at a tempo of 190. Um, if you're not there yet, that's okay. Just watch the video and then you'll know how to do it starting at your own tempo. For the rest of y'all that can keep up, we're gonna do this at 190. So, make sure you're relaxed, wrist and fingers, all right? Stay nice and comfortable. And, um, and we're gonna start just with a regular, simple 16 note jogging pace. Okay, so here we go. One, two, one, two, three, and boom. Just like that. Nice and relaxed, man. Elbows tucked in. Now I'm sort of splitting the workload here between my wrists and my fingers when I'm moving the stick. So it's not all fingers, it's not all wrists, it's kind of half and half, because this is normally how I would play. Real simple, just warming up the muscles. All right, so I'm gonna count you guys down and we're gonna go for a one count, 30 second notes. One, two, one, two, three, and uh. Sprint, rest, sprint, rest. So like I said, I'm just kind of splitting the workload, wrist and fingers. Totally relaxed, man. Feel at halftime. Two, three, four. All right, get ready to go to two. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two. So what we're doing sort of introducing speed to the hands. There's 
no need to do this for a marathon. Not at 30 seconds. You're just gonna burn your hands out. Short spurts, sprint, rest, sprint, rest, sprint, rest. Just like that. All right, now let's go back just a regular 16th. Now I wanted to drop down to 16th before we went to three because three, man, you're gonna be working when you hit three. So get settled, get relaxed. And get ready to knock this one out. You ready? One, two, one, two, three, three count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Huh? How you doing? It's good, right? Let's go back to one. One, two, three, four, uh. Yeah, good job, man. Ah, messed up. But you get the idea, man. This is the exercise. Let's just drop back down to 16 straight. One, two, three, four, uh. So there you go, man. That's a great little exercise that you can add to your practice routine. It's great as an exercise. It's great as a workout. It's great as a warm-up before you hit the stage. You know what I mean? It's a great way to sort of max out without burning out. And it's fun, too. So all my fellow instructors out there, you know, if you got a classroom or a room full of uh, young drummers that you're training up. This is a great little group exercise that you can lead as well. Um, it's just really cool and, and really effective. So we're more than halfway through the year of the hands here. So I'm just gonna throw this out there, man. If you've been following this channel since January and these hand exercises have been helping you bust through those barriers and, and build great hands and stuff, drop a comment, man. Let me know. Let me know how these little workouts and and uh, hand tutorials have been doing. Let us know how much better your hands have gotten since the beginning of the year. And uh, that's it for me. I'm gonna throw my toms back on this kit and do some, uh, do some full kit practice for a little bit. Thanks for watching this video. Share it if you dig it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.